asked it to answer a bunch of questions about uh, the Wizard of Oz movie. And these were, how many times does Dorothy tap her heels? Three. That's all it says. It just says the exact precise answer to the question. Um, and it says, uh, uh, what does Dorothy say when she taps her heels? What does that look like at home? Uh, Etc. Anyway, I'll leave these slides on um, on Slack. I'll post them on Slack so you can see more of these examples. And last, I'll show you how we fit some of these techniques into a chatbot. Um, I don't think I'm going to have time to actually make it work for us correctly, but uh, uh, but I can show you at least the code that's um, almost there. So this is the the glossary that um, exists within the bot. Uh, really short glossary at the moment, but uh, things like chromosome and allele and FASTA, these, uh, these various terminology, uh, these various words that we're going to use in the genomics part of the class. Um, and we're going to reload that within this, our typical, those of you who have been following me and, and all the chatbot that I've been doing, work that Travis and I have been doing over the past few months, um, you know that all you have to do is create a bot and then um, have a reply method. In this case, we got a big dictionary we got to load and, um, and, and we've got to process it with these semantic vectors and such. So we've got a lot of stuff happening in the init. This is the first time we've really had to do that. But then we're going to use that within here to come up with a response. Right now, I'm just having it echo back the, the match what for what is, just to make sure I've got the right extraction of the right words from the, the statement coming from the user, just using a regular expression. And, um, and then it's going to use that to then go to this, this table of all these words. And the table also includes those parent parentheses uh, for the, the abbreviations of the, the acronyms and the, and the full term uh, for many of the characters. So you can ask, how is it abbreviated and such? And that's how we're going to build it. Uh, a really simple, not, this is basically a knowledge-based uh, uh, question answering system, much more uh, labor intensive. Uh, Travis's approach is requires almost no labor at all. Just make it like a human, just give it a document to read and it will know everything. I'm looking forward to actually making it read some textbooks for me and asking it questions about genomics. So that's it. Um, anybody 